In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a new project in Smart PLS and get your data running in Smart PLS, uh, even if it is problematic data. So let's start Smart PLS. There it is. This is what you'll see when you open it up, just a blank canvas. Here are some existing projects I have going on. But let's start from scratch. You'll go to File, New, Create New Project. Project name, let's call it Gascination. We do want to import indicator data. Go search for it. So, I don't have any files that are acceptable in Smart PLS. The kind of files it accepts are .csv and .txt. Don't have any of those, but I do have uh, .sav, an SPSS file. So let me go over to that folder. Here it is. And find that SAV file. Here it is, .sav. Open that up, and I need to save it as a .csv. Before I do that, though, I'm going to get rid of the variables I'm not interested in, because they're going to just clutter up some things. I don't really care about age or gender. I'm going to delete those two. Just highlight them and then hit delete. I don't need any of the quality or productivity variables. So delete. Let me go to the end of this file. I don't need marital, people, years and job, all these other variables here. Don't need those. So all those are deleted. All I have left is the ones I'm interested in and an ID, just for uh, just in case. I'm going to save as .csv and save. And now I'll go back to that folder. There it is. Sohana observe .csv open up PLS, here it is, go find, there it is, right there, the .csv file, open, and hit finish. Now you'll see it created a project, Gascination, we can open it up, and we see we have um, the data. It looks like there's a little red question mark next to it, which means there's a problem with our data. We can also find that out by hitting this validate button, and if nothing happens, that means you have a problem. Uh, no error message or anything that it just uh, if nothing happens that means your data is not validated uh, there is a problem S typically the problem is that you have missing data so let's go back to SPSS analyze descriptive frequencies just throw everything in there control A move it over hit OK and go to the top frequencies see this little table this tells us how many are missing in each variable. Looks like we're good except RD1 is missing something. Scanning, scanning, nope. Scanning, nope. It's just RD1 is missing one value. Nice. Okay, so to fix that, go to transform, replace missing values, go find RD1. I'm gonna, I want it to keep the same name, so I'm gonna change its name back to RD1 and I want it to re be replaced, uh, I want the, bl the missing value to be re replaced by the median of nearby points because I'm using an interval scale, it's a Likert, I think, uh, seven point scale. So median of nearby points, I'm gonna use all nearby points, that means the whole column, and hit change, and then hit okay. Yes, I do want to replace that existing variable. There we go, confirm that we did it. Now, go ahead and save as again and I want to save as a .csv. There it is right there. Just replace that one is fine. Yes. Now we'll go back to Smart PLS. Go ahead and get rid of this one. Right click, remove resource. Yes, I do want to remove it. Right click this uh, project or this model file. Import indicator data. Go find that file again. It's this one right here. Hit open and finish. And voila, look at this, we have a green check mark, which is always good. You can double click it and hit validate. And look, it even tells you the data is valid. Excellent. Now, to start the actual project, double click on the .splsm file. And you end up with this blank canvas and a bunch of variables. That's all the variables in the data set. And I'll use my next video to show you how to um, begin modeling. And that's it.